boys and girls, this morning I have put together a table saw fence which improves no end on the chintzy piece of extruded aluminium that came with the Titan table saw. I've struggled on by with this for quite some time but this table saw fence is square, it's perpendicular to the blade or parallel is the correct term I guess and it's much higher so I'll be able to cut you know full lengths of plywood down without any real issues of me wandering off as we push down the fence and the reason I've done that this morning is because I'm anticipating delivery of some steel 20 lengths of 2 millimeter one inch box section which we're going to be making the stools for the pub with so that's going to make the frame of course but I want to make some beautiful looking plywood seats and backs and I want them all to be exactly the same I want them to be true square because we're going to have the exposed edges so when we've cut the plywood we're going to run the router around it and give it a nice finish and varnish to keep the end grain we're going to have the end grain on show and I'm also going to have a little hand hole in the middle of the seat just like you had on your science lab stools at school that's the plan I'm expecting the steel today but it's 12 o'clock it's not here I anticipate I'm on the end of the run normally I'm at the start of the run last time they came at 8 o'clock in the morning so if I'm on the end of the run it might not arrive till 4 o'clock this afternoon so we'll not get any welding in but we can start to get together the tabletops so that is the next job chair tops chair tops <laughs> the seats anyway and in the meantime while I've been doing that the steel has arrived check it so we've got 20 lengths yeah that's a lot of cutting to be done 20 lengths of 25 by 25 by 2 millimeter box section 
7.1 meters long, ready for chopping. What do you think, boy? We're going to do a little bit of chopping. Then we're going to do a little bit of chopping. Friggin' right we are. Wow. I'm going to try and keep cuts to a minimum on this build. 16 chairs to make anyway. 20 lengths. Should be enough steel there. Don't know whether I'm going to put a backrest on it or not. But we'll put one together. Prove the concept. And then we will get a production line going. Yes. stool I'm slightly out of shot here a little bit but I want to show you the stool not me so this is the prototype if you like and there are a couple of things that I don't like about it which is why I wanted to make one first ignore the wobble that's the floor if I put it there and sit on it it don't wobble you know it's crazy but yeah, a couple of things I don't like about it. One of them is the width here for the footrest. The width of the seat's fine, but the width for the footrest, I just can't quite get two feet in, if you know what I mean. And because I've gone for a central brace down the set down the middle there, then there's no way for you to sort of skip skip your other foot around the side, it just wants to kind of slip off all the time. So I think for the rest of them, I'm going to bring the chop saw in and I'm going to cut the steel with the chop saw. I know it potentially is going to fuck the blade up, but the blade's 30, 40 quid. And quite frankly, there's a lot of cuts to be done. I need them accurately, so it's probably worth getting a new blade and just using that blade for cutting steel. Makes sense, right? So what I'm going to do is angle the bevels on these top pieces and widen that bottom piece so that it flares much wider on the base of the legs, allowing you to get both feet in. So what I'll probably do, I don't think many people are going to have bigger boots than what I'm wearing today. So we're looking for an internal width of around 300. Well, we've got 280 on that side, and that's the shallow side. And at the minute, we're just at 210. So if we drop another 90 mil on that, then hopefully I'll be able to put both feet in there. Let's just try it that way. You see, it's just too far back to put your feet on that middle bar. I wanted to do that so it forced people to sit on it in the correct way. The only way they're going to get the foot on is there. This is a no. And it saves me a length of steel. So, yeah, we'll bring the chop saw in. We'll do some compound cuts on the edges of these because we're going to have to have an angle back and an angle out. And then hopefully we'll be able to cut all the legs, line it up, weld it, and we'll do another prototype. And I'll just use this one for the shop. This can be my shop stool. So back to the drawing board, but just a little bit. going if I'm honest. So I've recut all the stuff, I've brought the saw in and cut it with that. We've got a seven degree bevel going that way and that way on the, on the legs to splay them out. So there's a compound cut on the top and the bottom of each leg of seven degrees by seven degrees. 
and then the cross braces just have a seven degree inward bevel like that if you can imagine this side and this side make it a rhomboid I think is the right term and then I've put this jig together on the table to hold everything into position to make sure that we get repeatable results and so far so good this is the first one that I put together with the new technique if any of the legs are too long off the chop saw then it sort of shows up on the jig you can kind of see that that one was a little bit too long so you can see it's too big there so I'll just be able to grind that back once it's uh, once the chair is put together really that should allow me to take out any wobble the only difficulty is putting those two cross braces into the center so I kind of have to stand the whole thing up like this and find its bevel point yeah this ain't gonna be easy maybe I do a jig this way and this way yes of course of course just use the same jig but I turn the whole thing on its side do I put bars all the way around then? Is it worth it? I suppose it wouldn't make too much of a difference, would it? I don't know, I don't know actually. Anyway, I'll make that decision when I cut the rest of the pieces instead of putting an art in on the video. The time is five o'clock, so if I want to get anything to show, I mean I've already got one stool sample. But if I want to get anything to show of the new technique, then I better get cracking. choice now that's gonna to have to be the end of the day I've uh, got all of this steel cut over here as you can see that's quite a selection in fact I didn't do too badly there are over 40 table uh, I keep saying table there are over 40 chair legs there and uh, that's how many I managed to get cut before the saw blade finally went kaput now the reason I'm using that saw blade is because if I was going to buy these tables from Ikea chairs, fuck's sakes if I was going to buy these chairs from Ikea the cheap version was 40 quid a chair the ones I really wanted was 64 and we need 16 of them so we are talking well over a grand for the ones that I wanted 
We bought this deal for 200 and odd quid to make 16 chairs. So that's a saving of around 800 pound for all of the bar stools. So my reckoning is, if it cost me 64 quid for two saw blades in the process, we're still up, right? Well, I think we can afford two saw blades. I can't find a metal cutting saw blade locally that I can pick up tomorrow with a 25.4 millimeter arbor in the center, which is what I need to go on my Evolution Rage saw. So that means I'm gonna to have to buy a couple of their multi-purpose saw blades tomorrow, use one of them as a sacrificial to cut the rest of the steel. I mean, think about it, if I do it with the angle grinder, I'm not gonna get those seven degree tilts and seven degree, you know, the compound angle that I need on the ends of them. It'll take me a month of Sundays, so 34 quid for a saw blade is probably worth the sacrifice. And then the second blade that I'll pick up tomorrow, I'll put on, we'll use that for timber cutting. I'll never use it for cutting steel, unless I need a new blade for cutting steel, and then I'd probably save the new blade for timber and use the old wood blade for cutting steel, if you know what I mean. I'm sure that makes sense, it does to me anyway. So first thing in the morning, shoot across there, pick up a saw blade times two, and carry on with this uh, manufacturing of the tables. Chairs, for fuck's sake. Right, I'm done. I'll see you tomorrow.